My name is Michael LeCompte and I'm an assistant professor of surgical oncology and hepatobiliary surgery. I became a doctor because of some of the past experiences I had in childhood. I um, grew up overseas in Kenya actually for the for eight years of my life. My parents were missionaries over there. My father was a pilot but flew other doctors and medical teams around in uh, Kenya. From an early age I had uh, experience uh, doing that um, with my parents and flying around and doing medical clinics. I got kind of exposed to medicine at a very early age and uh, kind of got the bug, uh, so to speak, early on. And ultimately settled on surgical oncology just because I like the, um, number one, I like the complexity of the disease process and the surgery um, that's required to uh, to treat the disease. And I like taking care of the patients. I think the patients are in a place where they're very down in many cases and sometimes surgery can bring some hope to people and um, you really develop that relationship through the course of their uh, surgical treatment and their chemotherapy and their radiation. And, you know, I follow my patients, uh, you Know, even several years out uh, from their surgery just to make sure that they're doing okay and monitor them and I, I like having that relationship with my patients and kind of following them through some of the tough times in their life and then getting to see them out on the other end and I uh, uh, received expertise training in, uh, in liver and pancreas cancer for the most part. The broader category of what I do is called hepatobiliary surgery, so that includes both benign and malignant diseases of the uh, biliary tract, uh, the liver, the pancreas, and the stomach, the upper abdomen essentially. So I treat a lot of things including um, benign disease like pancreatitis, liver uh, cyst, pancreas cyst, and as well as malignant conditions like uh, pancreatic cancer, liver cancer, bile duct cancer, gallbladder cancer. Um, and so, you know, we employ a lot of different techniques for that, including ablative therapies, uh, minimally invasive therapies, and uh, robotic uh, surgery to try to treat those disease processes. Philosophy of care when it comes to patients. I think ultimately patients just want to be treated as a human being and, and uh, just somebody to listen to them and have compassion and uh, kind of uh, go through them and kind of kind of take away some of the fear and some of their tough times. I try to you know listen to all my patients. I try to never rush them out of the room. I try to spend as much time as I need for every single patient and really try to try to figure out what's going on and explain things as much as I possibly can. I, I try to give them the best information I can and, and really kind of make sure they understand what's going to happen and the steps that are involved in their treatment process. What do patients come to me for? Well, I, I think patients come, number one, for hopefully my compassion and my ability to relate to them and just kind of get to know them and, and kind of build that relationship. I think there's a lot of trust that's involved in, in surgical care, especially very complex surgical care with cancer. There's a lot of trust that's involved there and you really have to trust your surgeon. It really doesn't matter you know, how good technically they are or how smart they are. You really have to have that kind of one-on-one -on -one trust and understand and know that I'm going to do the best thing for them. I think the other reason they come is uh, my area of expertise and my training is a little bit different than most people with surgical oncology training. did a hepatobiliary fellowship and advanced training in, in um, minimally invasive surgery and robotic surgery. I like to be honest with my patients. Uh, I don't try to sugarcoat the material, but I also don't try to paint too grim of a picture. I think there's always uh, an area for hope in terms of how we uh, treat these disease processes. Um, and so I, I think that Patients should first know that I'm going to give them an honest opinion of, of what I think, and uh, they're going to know all the facts by the time they leave the office visit. Secondly, I, I'm going to provide the best care that I can, and sometimes, you know, we can't provide the care that the patient wants uh, or, or uh, thinks that they need, but we're going to give them the best care that we uh, potentially can here. Thirdly, I think. Um, one of the important parts of kind of the UNC system and how we work and, and how I am uh, working here at, at the uh, UNC Rex Hospital is that we want patients to know they get the same care within the system. And one of the great uh, parts about working within the system is I work at Chapel Hill, I work here at Rex, but for patients they can get close uh, care that's the same as they would be getting at the Academic Medical Center in terms of treatment of their cancer care um, locally. And so we're here to try to serve you know, Wake County and the surrounding counties and provide the same, same level of care uh, for our cancer patients across the hospital system.